All right, looks like we're going to be working on the Hilux today, but I thought I'd show you guys what we got going on here. It's like an oasis for the kids. We're going to go out here and work on the Hilux. All right, 1975 Toyota Hilux. So that's what we're going to work on today. Well, I started to make a video on how to install a Weber carburetor. And the first two videos that I took in the series, I ended up deleting them somehow. So I'm just going to show it to you. It comes as a kit. I looked it up for 1975 Toyota Hilux. And uh, this is the Weber kit that came. There's a bottom plate that goes on, and then there's a secondary plate. In between each one of these, there's gaskets. So make sure you feel out which gaskets go where, and then you have all your parts that go on. Uh, that's for the electronic choke. And then I went ahead and hooked up the vacuum lines that go from the top of the valve cover I went ahead and put them back to, to the intake there the top of this one goes into the uh, bottom of the intake there I went ahead and installed that a lot of guys delete those um, back here this would have been where the EGR valve went I went and I made a plate took it off and uh, put that metal plate on there as you can see it's a fairly simple setup. This end was actually on this side, so all I did was I unbolted the two and swapped them so that it would work for this one rather than taking it and having to wrap around to go back down. Um, what else have we done? That's all we've done on this so far today. Um, the video started out two weeks ago, but didn't get to finish it. If you guys need more input or uh, more detailed uh, installation on a Weber carburetor. Uh, a friend of mine, Airbag Joe, a lot of you guys know him. You can go to his channel and he has a complete detailed explanation of a Weber carburetor, where the fuel mixtures are, how to clean the jets. I mean, everything you can imagine about a Weber carburetor, he's got it on there. He installed his on a uh, Mazda B2200. Uh, it's a very similar, similar setup to any, almost any of these old four-cylinder motors. So uh, if you want to go to his channel, uh, just search Airbag Joe, and uh, you'll find his channel. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the, in the uh, comment section below. You'll be able to find a link to his channel. Um, again, this, this one's on a 1975 Toyota Hilux. And uh, this is my wife's truck. See her right there? <laughs> That's her truck. So now I'm going to do the next video. We'll be uh, lowering the rear end another three inches. We're going to monoleaf it. That's taking out the, sink, the middle leaf and getting that rear end to sit as low as the front sitting now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment at the bottom. If, if you have anything to add to uh, the installation of this, uh, thumbs up for this being a girl truck. And, uh, well, her truck's a, your truck's a boy, huh? Oh, it's a Herlux. I'm sorry. That's right. It's got pink balls, as a matter of fact. Are they still back there? Yeah. Here, I'll just show you real quick. Sam? Thumbs up for pink balls. <laughs>